When I was 14, I just totally collapsed. I remember the whole world kind of spinning and hadn't happened in a while, hadn't happened since I was younger. My mom actually rushed out and I guess I had stopped breathing and according to my medical chart, she did some chest compressions and then I didn't have to wait for someone to show up and take time to assess the situation and jump in there. There was already someone there that knew what to do. CPR is the first step and also the most crucial step in the chain of survival. I can almost say for certain that I don't recall a single incident in which a patient was able to survive if they did not receive immediate bystander CPR. Of course, after verifying that uh, the person does not have a heart, is not beating and not breathing, they're already dead. You know, what more harm can you do? You want to do the best you can to help them. Even if you break a rib, you know, it's, you're helping the patient because they do come back to life, that should be the last of your worries. There's very few things you can do in your life that could really impact someone in such a profound way. Three weeks later, I had a transplant, and um, that was 22 years ago.